Tonight, the amount of money owed in fines to the Board of Elections is reduced nearly $800,000. But that didn't quiet the criticism from a former candidate who faced a stiff fine despite never raising or spending a penny. Target 12 investigator Walt Buteau with the details you saw first on WPRI.com. Target 12 found out the board is trying to reduce and sometimes wipe out fines that are appealed. The 17% in cuts are a significant dip in the total owed that since 2011 quadrupled to about four and a half million dollars. Mr. Ponte, former you Providence arrested? City Council President Luis Aponte, who pleaded no contest to felony embezzlement in July, is among the many recognizable names on the list. Records show the amount of Ponte owes has climbed steadily over the past decade, now totaling just under $51,000. Not paying down their fines and continued filing issues by dozens on the list is one reason the overall total climbed so high. Started off as you 2012 know, Westerly School Board candidate Mark Sullivan is on the list, even though he never raised or spent anything during his brief campaign and claims he mailed the Why necessary to paperwork to, to the board um, several times. In my case, it was all zeros. There was there was nothing to remember, nothing to recall. There was no campaign finance. The Board of Elections Finance Director tells us the board did not receive any paperwork from Sullivan until 2017, like others on the list. The $2 a day fines for every unfiled form spiked Sullivan's fine, in his case, to $44,000 by January of last year. The board reduced the fine to $332, but Sullivan has so far refused to pay out of principle, insisting he filed the necessary paperwork and never raised or spent any money. It's frustrating and it's personal for me now because I've had enough. I, I, I feel at this point it's harassment. Former state Senator John Salona's case offers another example why the fines owed climbed so sharply. Salona, who served prison time for a pay-to-play scheme, asked for help from the board in 2015 when he owed about $178,000. Just asking for a waiver and, you know, some sort of... Uh you know, payment plan. Even without an official payment plan, Salone has been paying $20 a week since 2015, but the amount he owes has nearly doubled due to not filing paperwork. We also found out $16,000 was paid in fines so far this year to a total now hovering around $3.8 million. With the Target 12 investigators, Walt Buteau, Eyewitness News.